Hey, hi guys. Thanks so much for having me. So, I hope there's no vegetarians in the audience. Um, big and juicy. I'm John Woods. I'm the CTO at the Algorand Foundation. The Algorand Foundation is really always trying to promote the adoption of, the awareness of, and the accessibility of the Algorand Layer 1 blockchain. And today, I'm here to tell you why our staking rewards are the tastiest. Okay, so a quick recap. 2024 was a pivotal year for Algorand. We made some incredibly important changes. First, we changed to dynamic round times, increasing the transactions per second on the network to around 10,000. Second, we got rid of our archaic assembly-like language for building apps. Now you can write apps in syntactically and semantically regular Python and TypeScript, making it accessible uh, to nearly everyone. And then third, we've increased the efficiency of the network by moving to non-archival based relays. But the reason I'm here to, to talk to you today is not about these things, but rather about our new focus on consensus incentivization. A lot of people didn't, don't know this, in fact, but up until this point, if you mint or mine blocks on the Algorand network, there is no reward. And of course, this is antithetical to the way most cryptocurrencies work. And so we're gonna make a huge change. Going forward, Algorand will reward the block production process. And I'm gonna to talk to you about how that's gonna look. So, the next two things we're doing in 2024 are focused on maximizing decentralization. Web3 is interesting. We encourage people to build applications and when they introduce a Web3 component, whether, whether that's a layer one or otherwise, into their tech stack. This, of course, adds complication and technical complexity to their technical stack. And so it only makes sense to do so if it's functionally decentralized. If it's not functionally decentralized, then you're wasting your time. And so staking rewards, which we're launching today, and peer-to-peer, -peer, which we're going to do in early 2025, are going to maximally decentralized Algorand. Now, of course, staking rewards is what I'm here to talk to you about today at the Staking Summit, but just to touch on how they both uh, dovetail together. When we introduce staking rewards, we're going to see an organic increase in the number of nodes, and in following that, when we have that increased number of pathways in the network, early next year, we're going to change the network topology to be a peer-to-peer -to -peer topology. And so what this means is that data, rather than relying on relays, that, that reliance is going to be gone. Data will be able to flow peer-to-peer -peer in the network, ensuring that Algorand actually um, ensures that for its users, it is fully decentralized. And there's no reliance on the Algorand Foundation. OK, so staking should be easy, and it should be accessible. And it should be safe for the end user, and it should have a great experience. So, how does staking look on Algorand? Well, we like to think on Algorand, our staking rewards are better. Number one, they've got very low hardware requirements. And so you don't need a data center in order to do this, right? You can run this stuff on a Mac Mini, on a Raspberry Pi 5. Number two, you're going to get the rewards in real time. The block time's every 2.8 seconds. And so when you mine or mint a block, you'll get that reward paid to your account by the protocol in that moment, not at the end of some uh, arbitrary epoch. Number three, there's no slashing. So maybe contrary to something like Ethereum, um, there won't be uh, a mechanism by which your funds will be taken. Number four, there's no lockup. So you're free to spend your funds even if they're engaged in consensus uh, execution at any time. You are in control. And then finally, number five, we're going to have a great application to help you get involved with the execution of consensus or the staking of your algo. So that app looks like this. We've built a really pretty terminal user interface that's going to help users not only install, manage, and update the node, but also manage the participation keys, i.e. The, the cryptographic keys that you need to execute uh, staking. And then, of course, to monitor your, your performance on the network and how well your node is operating. Getting involved with staking on Algorand takes as little as one algo and 15 minutes. With our terminal user interface, you'll be able to download and install the Algorand core node, 
register your fresh staking keys just using a QR code on your wallet. And then within 15 minutes, that um, registration of your staking keys will be active on the network and you will be participating in consensus and eligible to earn staking rewards. Okay, so I guess the most important thing for the, for the staker is what does this look like? So here's some details around what staking rewards will look like on Algorand. Now, we're late to the party on this, right? Everyone's had staking rewards for a very long time. So we have to make it interesting. We can't make it the same as everyone else. We have to differentiate ourselves. There's lots of big networks and been around for a long time. And so we want to make sure we, we, uh, we join the party with a splash. First, why would you get involved with Algorand? I think it's really important to mention it's a mature network. It's been around five years with no downtime, no forks, no failed transactions. It's had about 43 million blocks and about 2.4 billion transactions processed. So it's proven to be rock solid. In the longer term, the fees generated by the network will have to contribute to the security of the network. So the fees will have to pay for the staking rewards. In the short term, i.e. for the next two years, the Algorand Foundation intends to supplement the reward to bring as many people into this staking rewards uh, change as possible. And critically, the Algorand supply won't be changing, so it'll still have a 10 billion algo capped supply. Okay. So Algorand Foundation are going to supplement this two years. We will have a reward that starts at around 10 algo per block and then over time drops off, leaving eventually the Algorand network's fees to pay for the security of the network. So looking at that and breaking it down by the numbers, and uh, just to say, our legal department told me to say these are indicative numbers. Plug in your own values and get your own answers. But it'll, if you take, for example, 100 algo, with an online stake of 1.7 billion, that being about 17% of the global supply of algo um, being staked. And you had, say, block rewards quite small, around 0.025 algo. And the Algorand Foundation's bonus of 10 algo, and our usual block time of about 2.8 seconds, you'd see on that 100 algo, about 6.6 .6 algo per year. So that is around 6.6%. .6 so in terms of the options for participation, how do you get involved with this? We have four great options. I'd like to touch on a couple of them here. The first, you can run a node using that great terminal user interface that I described earlier. You'll need a minimum of 30,000 algo to do so. Okay. Um, you, you, of course, can run that on, on, as I mentioned earlier, very simple hardware requirements. You don't need a fancy machine. Um, but you will be responsible for maintaining that node. If you don't want to get involved at that level, you can use one of our DeFi venues, and they'll offer liquid staking. So they have an abstraction where they will have a liquid, stake token, a liquid staking token that you can use in the venue, and they will stake on your behalf. And then I think quite interestingly, we're going to introduce peer-to-peer -peer staking pools. Now, this is not the same maybe as a delegated staking pool that you might have seen on, on other great networks such as Cardano. But instead, this is the idea that we have built an infrastructure to allow people to deploy trustless contracts on the chain and delegate their funds into that contract in a trustless way, allowing other individuals or third parties to run the node on their behalf, all whilst con maintaining control over their Algorand uh, account. So you have many options here, from running a node yourself all the way to peer-to-peer -peer pooling. We're very excited about the advent of staking rewards for Algorand. We think it's going to bring a lot of eyes to the network. And we think when people come uh, to try the stake, They'll stay for the great experience. We're launching this um, in December this year. And um, we're hoping to be on time with this. But of course, when you're rolling out changes like this, you've got to make sure that engineering are happy before this stuff goes out. So that's it. That's the update on Algorand. Thank you very much for listening. Cheers.